I am thrilled to announce, alongside my colleagues, Minister Yazek and Minister Champagne, that Canada is establishing a cyber security certification program to protect our defense supply chain. This certification program will enhance Canada's cybersecurity capabilities and keep our defense industrial base resilient and protected from threats. We are designing this program in lockstep with the United States Department of Defense forthcoming cybersecurity certification framework. And what this means is that defense contractors doing business in both countries will only need to be certified under a single entity. And it will ensure that Canadian companies can benefit from future procurement opportunities with our allies where cyber certification is required. This is an important step to support Canada's defense industry and it will help your companies compete and win. It is also a big win for the modernization of our Canadian Armed Forces. My friends, modernizing the Canadian Armed Forces includes modernizing the supply chain. And last June, I announced Canada's NORAD modernization plan, backed by an investment of almost $40 billion over 20 years. During President Biden's visit earlier this year, we released timelines for all 19 projects proceeding under our NORAD modernization plan. That is on our website. Importantly, we are accelerating progress on Arctic Over the Horizon radar, which will expand critical domain awareness of our northern approaches. But as we modernize the Canadian Armed Forces, we cannot leave anyone behind. We must combine ingenuity with inclusivity, which is why culture change in the Canadian Armed Forces, ensuring that we have a Canadian Armed Forces where everyone is protected and respected and empowered when they put on a uniform to serve our country is our top priority. And that is why, where possible, we will work with Indigenous and Northern governments to bring benefit from our investments. Last year, I was pleased to announce that Inuit-owned Nasatuck Corporation will operate and maintain our North Warning System as we move to a modernized Northern Surveillance System. And we recently awarded Nasatuck a maintenance contract for CFS Alert valued at $122 million. I am thrilled to announce the launch of the new National Defense Indigenous Reconciliation Program that will help to build, bolster, and broaden relationships with Indigenous peoples across Canada. This program will provide up to $1.5 million a year for the next four years for projects that incorporate the expertise and traditional knowledge of Indigenous communities across Canada. Funding will be made available to Indigenous partners in support of engagement, consultation, and information sharing projects on subjects such as Canadian Armed Forces exercises and opportunities for Indigenous involvement and benefits, infrastructure projects, les transactions immobilières, policy research, including on subjects related to the security of Indigenous and Northern communities, a subject that Indigenous and Northern communities have discussed with me at length over the past year, especially as we see incursions into our Arctic and Northern reaches. First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples, Indigenous governments, governments and self-organizations including bands, tribal councils, Indigenous self-government entities, local, regional and national representative organizations are all eligible to apply for this funding. From conferences to workshops, roundtables and community outreach events, this is a full suite program and it will bolster the relationship between national defense and indigenous communities.